times five. Well, one of the best parts of going to the fair is getting to see things up close you might not be able to on a regular basis. One of those opportunities is at a petting zoo. Here with more is Derek Anderson and Heather Buchanan. Welcome. Great to have both of you today. Hi, thanks. It's good to be here. Um, we're from the Washington County Fair and the petting zoo. We're good agricultural traditions in Washington County, and this yeah. is a good way to continue on with the kids. Well, let's talk about the up. animals you have with a, with you today. What are you holding? <laughs> this is Fuzz Bucket. He's a frizzled chicken. A frizzled chicken. Mm -hmm. And where would you find a chicken like Fuzz Bucket? Um, they're more for ornamental purposes than egg laying or anything like that. They're just for fun. People love them, and they actually make good pets. As yeah, you can see, they're really calm. Pretty content in your arms. And what about this guy over here? Uh, his name's Booger. He's a bearded dragon. They primarily live in desert areas, and uh, they're, they're pretty calm pets. Yeah, so you can touch all of this at the petting zoo. What else can you see? We have rabbits. We have more chickens. We have donkeys and mules, miniature horses, sheep, alpacas, um, ducks, geese, guineas. And we also have the Fear Factor Petting Zoo this year, which is better than it's been in the years past. We have snakes, lizards, um, tarantulas. mice, tarantulas, all kinds of good stuff. So stuff you can actually touch and hold. Absolutely. That's why they call it everything. the Fear Factor. And, and it, as you said, it, it's growing every year. Anything new this year? Like I said, we do have more in the Fear Factor than we have had in the past. More snakes and spiders and mice and things. Um, we have some sheep this year that's not been there before. A mule that hasn't been in there before. Um, different miniature horses. A few different things every year. Where do you come up with all these animals at? All the animals are local. Um, farmers, um, people that have them just as pets. Everybody that does the petting zoo volunteers and really has a good time because they enjoy it and they want to share that tradition with the generation coming up. Yeah, a lot of us would never get to see a chicken like that. You have a preschool day, which they'll probably love the petting zoo. What's happening there? Uh, the kids from local schools get to come. They get out of school that morning. They come, they pet the animals. They even paint a horse with their hands, different stuff like that. So it, it's a lot of fun for them because they get to see stuff they've never seen before. Just a busy day for keeping those kids going around. You also have a senior day. What can they do? Uh, the seniors can come up just like the kids. They don't get to get out and see stuff like this very often either. A lot of them, it reminds them of their childhood growing up when they actually did bottle feed the calf, um, when they did go collect the eggs, things like that. And they really enjoy getting to be part of the petting zoo. Is, it, is there a discount for them or anything like that that day if they come, or is it just a special time for them? Uh, that morning they get in free. They, they come with the Senior Citizen Center in Abingdon, so uh, they, they get in free that morning, and so do the preschool and kindergartners that day. All right, great treat for them. Well, thank you so much for bringing your friends and for stopping in with us today. The Washington County Virginia Fair is September 13th through the 18th at the Washington County Fairgrounds. That's in Abingdon, Virginia. To learn more, you can log on to watchcoatfair.com.